hermitagaphia like overfined, rubles for violating the regime of self-isolation. The Churachevsky District Court of the Altai Republic ruled to award an administrative fine of rubles to Hermitagafia Lykova. She violated the mandatory self-isolation regime previously introduced by the Region S authorities. As the editorial office told the court as press center, Lykova was detained by police at the entrance to one of the shops in the village of Yelu. Every year before Easter she goes to this store for shopping. It was established that citizen Lykova A.K. Born in 1944, refused to comply with the lawful demand of police officers. In response to a request to show a key code allowing her to visit the store and put on a mask, Lykova said that wearing Hari and putting evil marks is a sin, and fasting and prayer help against any plague. A protocol on an administrative offense was drawn up, the court decision said. The police officer who drew up the report said that Lykova did not know about the epidemic of a new coronavirus infection. This news did not cause her surprise. According to her, this is the Lord's punishment for the whim of demons and the Antichrist lies. Agafya Lykova was born and lived all her life on the capture of the old believers Lykov in the mountainous region of Kakosia. She leaves her place of residence once a year when she sets off on foot for 50 kilometers to the nearest village for Easter supplies. The village is located in the neighboring Republic of Altai. The Lykovs lived in a built hut on the banks of a mountain tributary of the Aranak River. They were engaged in hunting, they didn't have firearms, on the trails they dug hunting pits, when harvesting meat for the winter they cut it in thin strips and dried in the wind, fisheries, they ate raw fish, baked in a fire and dried for the future, gathered mushrooms, berries, and harvested cedar nuts. Potatoes, turnips, onions, peas, rye, and hemp were grown in the garden. They did not know bread. All the years of hermitage, the Lykovs had no salt, which, according to their admission, delivered true torment. They were engaged in hemp spinning and weaving for the manufacture of clothing, which the Lykovs had homespun and woven on a handloom. In summer they went barefoot, in winter in birch bark shoes, later from leather, when they learned to make skins. For fire they used a chair and flint. Fame for the family was brought by articles in the newspaper Komsomolskaya Pravda, written by the journalist Vasily Peskov, who since 1982 often visited the Lykovs. Based on the results of these visits, he wrote the book The Tega Dead End, which was repeatedly reprinted and published in several foreign languages. Agafya Lykova was born into a family of old believers of the Chapel Consent, Lykovs who fled to remote places of the Siberian Taiga from persecution on faith. Father Karpasipovich Lykov, Mother Akulina Karpona. Since the late 1930s, the Lykov family lived in complete isolation from civilization. After 1946, the Lykov's permanent place of residence was the bank of the Abokan tributary of the Aranat River. In addition to his father and mother, Agafya Lykova had a sister and two brothers, Savin, Natalia, Dmitri. Agafya was the most literate in the family of hermitold believers. She was entrusted with conducting a home church service. Agafya's mother, Akulina Karponna, died in 1961. The Luka family opened for civilization in 1978. Geologists who explored this area of Siberia entered the Lykov's capture. At the time of the discovery by scientists of the Lykov farm, the family consisted of five people. In October 1981, Agafya's brother Dmitri died, in December his second brother Seven died, and another ten days later Agafya's only sister, Natalia, died. For seven years, Agafya lived with her father Karpasipovich, who died on February 16, 1988. After the death of her father, Agafia contacted her relatives, whose relations, however, did not work up. In 1990, Agafia Lykova moved to the Old Believers Convent, belonging to the Chapel Consent, and went through the rank of cover, tonsure in a nun. However, after several months, Agafia returned back, citing ill health and ideological differences with the nuns of the Chapel Consent. From this moment, Agafia lives almost indefinitely on the Lykov settlement. During this time, she was visited by many travelers, journalists, writers, representatives of religious communities of different faiths. 
Agafia also had novice monks and volunteers who helped with the housework. Agafia was in correspondence with local authorities and often asked for help. The former governor of the neighboring Kemerovo region, Oman Tuliev, repeatedly ordered to deliver everything necessary for the hermit, as well as provide medical assistance. Observations of the family from a medical point of view were carried out by the Dr. Igor Pavlovich Nazarev. In his article in the newspaper Trot, he expressed the opinion that the cause of the death of Tatry, Savin and Natalia was the weak immunity of the Lykovs due to lack of contact with the outside world, which led to pneumonia when infected by visitors. A blood test of Agafia and Karpasipovich showed the absence of antibodies to most pathogenic viruses. Igor Nazarov set forth his impressions about his trips to the Scientega to Hermits and about monitoring their health in the book Tega Hermits written by him. The book was published in 2010 by decision of the Presidium of the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences and us. Agafia, who was born in a careless state in 2011, priest of the Orenburg Church priest Vladimir Goskadiri was annexed to the Russian Orthodox Church. By Christmas 2013, she was given a parcel with gifts, books and a calendar, from the Metropolitan of Moscow and All Russia, Cornelius, primate of the Russian Orthodox Old Believer Church, and in April 2014, the Metropolitan personally visited the hermit. Despite the inaccessibility of the territory, inspectors of the reserve and geologists regularly visit Agafya Lykova. Please share these videos on your social networks, buttons for the video and subscribe to the channel. Please go and see other videos about Agafya Lykova, which you see now on the screen in the final screensavers. There are a lot of rare interesting facts about the hermit. Thank you all for watching.